down lower side of your leg. Somebody else, you have a problem on the right side of your leg, inside. God wants to help you. Hallelujah. Who's that per- who are the people I just mentioned right now? You have a problem right here? Just quickly come here right now. Hallelujah. Charles beskriver ikke noget, der ligner Rogers sygdom, så han bliver siddende. Derimod rejser 12 andre personer sig op, og iblandt dem er Christian med det syge knæ. Don't worry, the rest of you don't worry. God is going to heal them, and then you, you will receive your own miracle too. What about you, sir? You have pain in your stomach? A lot of pain in your stomach? What about you? Stomach and feet. What's wrong with the feet? Circulation. Okay, what about you? My knee. Your knee? What's wrong with your knee? What? Strong pain. Strong pain. Strong pain? Yeah. Why do you have the crutches? Because I can walk without it. You can't walk without it? No, it's too strong pain. Do you have any pain running down the back side of your leg? <laughs> From back here? From about here to my feet. You came expecting a miracle? Always. That's good. <laughs> you want to walk out of here without the crutches? I do. You believe Jesus will do it for you? I believe it. You believe it? I have good news for you. If I carried your pain, if Jesus carried your pain, how does that leave your legs? Healed. Healed? You believe what I just told you? I do. Take off your crutch. Move your legs up and down right now. Move it. Move it up and down. Move it. Don't be afraid. Move it. Move it. Move it. Yeah. <laughs> let's give God praise. Let's the... go. How... Just t- take him off. Walk. Come on. Let's go. Walk. Come on. Let's walk. Move your legs up and down. Yes. Say hallelujah. Let's give God praise for that. <laughs> hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. <laughs> Let's give God praise for that tonight. Thank you, Jesus. So you can just keep this here right now. Hallelujah. Charles Endifon mener, at nogle sygdomme i virkeligheden skyldes dæmoniske besættelser af mennesker, og at man derfor skal drive de onde sygdomsånder ud af personen, før de bliver raske. Det kan være en meget dramatisk affære. Sofie fra Aarhus har længe haft stærke smerter i underlivet, men Charles mener, hun er besat og vil nu foretage en eksorcisme.